What's up guys, how you doing today? Welcome to B Kings Gaming. Thank you for joining us for another video here. And it is a very little special day. We got uh, we need to go get some seed for our farm so we can keep planting all the stuff that we're planting to keep this farm going. Uh, as again again, as I said, thanks for joining us today. I think we're gonna we're gonna take our little uh, John Deere little utility little, little vehicle over here to go to our truck and uh, we're once we get to our truck, we can go hook up to our trailer and go get over to the store to go uh, load up our uh, seed and bring it back here to the farm. But yeah, guys, well, uh, hope everybody's having a great day today. It's a beautiful day out. And, uh, you know, and again, thanks for joining me. But uh, yeah, so let's, uh, if you haven't already, remember to hit that uh, like button and subscribe and uh, turn on notifications if you'd like to see more of my videos. I always appreciate you guys tuning in and feel free to leave comments and um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Right, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to take my little uh, day cab uh, Freightliner, um, pretty little truck. Uh, we'll park here right, right here in front of our office first and um, yeah, we'll get in our, our tractor and uh, we'll make our way over to our trailer. But yeah, this is a pretty cool little little John Deere uh, utility little little off-road vehicle. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like the camo on it. It looks pretty cool. But yeah. Oh, what a nice day. But yeah, here's here's our little Freightliner day cab. Um, you know, pretty pretty kind of basic looking truck. I mean, there's some custom stuff on it. You know, uh, it's not bad. You got the custom fenders on it, custom visor. Custom uh, toolbox there in the back. So, uh, but yeah, you know, it's nothing fancy. It's an, you know, pretty typically on these newer freight liners, unless you order them with a manual, they're all automatic. Um, makes it easy on the driver. Me personally, in real life, when I drove tractor trailers, I drove for about 13 years. Um, yeah, I never liked driving with that automatic. I don't like it. I'd rather drive a manual and get weak, and I've driven. 13 speeds, 15 speeds, 18 speeds. Um, it's all you know, pretty easy. Uh, it gives you a better feel for the truck. And, you know, you feel like you get more power. But yeah, so let's back up, hook up here, and get out and uh, connect our air and the lines here. So the trailer will move. And see, because this is the mistake that I made before, guys. I thought there was like a glitch or something wrong with these trailers that I was the wheels weren't working and I didn't realize that I had it set on a realistic mode for you know hookups so it wasn't it wasn't working correctly because I, I was forgetting to get out and actually hook up the air and electrical lines to the trailer uh, just like in real life so the trailer wasn't working properly uh, once I figured out what I the setting that I had made um, then you know it became pretty easy to make sure that I you know, but yeah, we're going to make it left here, but uh, let's make our way here. Go ahead and get our seed, and uh, we're going to load it up. This is an auto-load trailer, um, but I am not going to use auto-load. I'm just going to load it all with a forklift myself. I know it takes more time, but uh, more fun that way, you know? I mean, I bought the auto-load to make it, you know, easier, but I don't want to use it every time. Sometimes I like, I actually like loading myself more realistic oh and a little tidbit here I bought this little dump truck we haven't picked it up yet it's still sitting here and uh, maybe we'll be able to pick it up with our tow truck put her on the back and take her back to the farm it's a cool little brand new uh, brand new Chevy I mean it's a nice little dump truck so uh, we can you know uh, put a plow on it uh, put a plow on the front whatever we need to Maybe I think I just want to use it for feed and then clean up, you know, after the animals. We're getting uh, a lot of our things going. We have chickens already. Uh, I got, uh, we have a, a, a little building, uh, well, little, we have a big building for um, a cow, cattle, basically cows, and then 
Uh, we have a horse stable, which is we're gotta um, we gotta get some of these animals going. Right now, all we have is chicken, but we're gonna. We're, I'm on my way to get those other things going. But uh, let's get this seed. It's sitting up there on the other side of this trailer here. There's not too many pallets, so it shouldn't take too long. But we'll load them all up by one. We'll get them strapped down, and then we'll, uh, we'll make our way back to the farm. Alright, so let's get in here. It's hard to see from that view, uh, you know, when I'm from like, you know, the first person view to get a good idea, you know, where the heck this, um, the pallet is at. So I, I always find it easier to kind of put it at, you know, this kind of view, kind of look around that way I'm making sure that I'm, you know, I'm getting it on, getting it on the right way. But yeah, so let's get this going. Right. Get this up. Nice. And I know this might seem weird to you guys, but this kind of stuff is really relaxing for me. Um, like I said, I I did this. I mean, I didn't load the trailers, but I, I drove tractor trailers for about 12, 13 years. And um, it was something that I enjoyed a lot. You know, you can work as your own boss. Um, it's a pretty cool job. I mean, you get to see, you know, if you like to see the, the country and be out and about, like, basically your office is, is you know, wherever you're at for that, uh, you're, wherever you're at for that day, you know, you get to be, whether you're in Tennessee or Texas or, or New York or New Jersey, oh, you get to enjoy where you see all the sights and enjoy, the, you know, where you're at. It's a, it could be a good life, but the only bad part is sometimes, you know, if you, if you have a family, then uh, it could be difficult on, on family life, you know, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, especially the bigger companies, they, they want you to be a, you know, they want you to be away from home for weeks or months at a time, and they give you very, very little time with your family, and that made it very difficult on me, because I'm a family man, I'm a homebody, I like being home, spending time with, with my wife and kids, and uh, yeah, but uh, right, we'll get this bad boy. I'll put it on this side. Uh, this size in real life, you wouldn't load all the pallets on one side. It would be off balance and you know, uh, create uh, something that would cause a very bad accident. So we're gonna load up, you know, uh, correctly how we should. And then, like I, as I said before, we'll strap it all down and make sure she's good to go. Let's make sure I want to make sure I get a flush here with that that uh, that forward part of that trailer. There we go. We should get right there. We'll lower it down. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, it could be a tough life, but the money, it could be really, really good if, if you're, um, you know, uh, if you're a good driver, you get experience, you know, and, and do the things that drivers need to do, and, you know, uh, you know, you keep your composure while, while driving because there's so many idiots on the road. It's... It's not even funny. That that's sometimes that's the worst part about the job is that we're just treated like crap from from uh, you know everyday people, you know, and they just don't realize sometimes how hard you know it it, it is a hard job having to deal with traffic and accidents. And, you know, people cut you off and they expect you to be able to stop on a dime. I mean, a tractor trailer, especially a loaded tractor trailer, usually stops faster than a empty tractor trailer but nonetheless it's a, you know it's a hard you can't just stop on a dime you can't just turn you know on a dime and it's you know everything takes a little uh, a little more time than driving a car a regular pickup truck and, you know and the funny thing is uh, you know I'm from the state of California and pretty much anywhere in the country to drive a truck you have to have a class A CDL driver's license and which I have and I still have and uh, even though I don't drive it yet anymore, not, not presently at least. And um, you know, we call it basically us, us guys in the industry, we call it uh, an adult's license. You know, that and then there's a uh, that's a commercial class, CDL Class A license and then a regular driver's license, and at least in the state of California, it's called the Class C. So we call it a child's license. You know, we're we're the big adults out on the road. You know, it's, uh, it's just kind of funny. That's all. Little tidbit of information for you guys. Well, yeah, let's get this pallet down here. All right. 
right, that should be good. See, I want to make sure that I'm loading these with, um, that way they're going to be covered, you know, they'll be able to be strapped down, because if I don't have them where I can strap them down, then uh, I can't secure the load properly before I leave here, which I don't want pallets uh, falling, oop, almost got that one. I don't want the pallets of the seed uh, falling off the trailer when I go for a turn or anything like that. I want to make sure that I'm going to secure these pallets. Uh, no, we don't have too many more to go. I mean, it goes pretty quick, guys. But, you know, we're already getting moving our fourth pallet here, so line this up. All right. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Right there. We should get. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Get her up. Now uh, this is a bigger, uh, you know, a heavier forklift. Um, and normally, though, as as you load up a tractor, I'm just gonna put this one on on this side. We should be good as long as we're not moving the tractor. So, and then I'll load up uh, the other side, you know, before we take off. Um, obviously, you know, you want to load it up so it's balanced before you move the the tractor, you know, anywhere, go anywhere before you secure the load. You can never just load one side of it. That will be safe. So, but I am going to load one more pallet on this side, and then we'll load the others on the other side. So, uh, yeah, see, I'm not going to strap it. I just want to make sure those straps will, um, will cover those pallets. Because, like I said, if you can't secure it, then it's pointless to, to have it there. But I'm going to load this one on this last one on this side, and then I'll load the other ones on the other side, and we'll strap them all down and go. All right. This one, bam, nice and easy. We'll lift her up. But uh, as I was saying, so this is a heavier forklift, so it's okay to uh, push that back here. And uh, it's a heavier forklift, so it's kind of um, it's okay. I guess it would be kind of okay. You don't want to lift the pallets up so high to the point where it puts the forklifts off balance because you can, you know, it could be kind of scary when you have a real heavy product like seed like this or like concrete bags of concrete or uh, you know really anything and you lift it too high on the forklift like this and it can tip um, this is a heavier forklift so we should be fine uh, you know, the weight limit is a lot you know, you know higher than normal so it should be it should be fun fine and there we go but on a normal forklift one that isn't as heavy as this one it could be, you know, it could be really, it could be dangerous because if you lift that, oh, we might need to screw it over just a little bit, huh? Uh, it could be dangerous because uh, if you lift up the product or, you know, the pallet too high, you're going to tip the, the forklift and it could cause a really dangerous situation for uh, yourself. And, and not only that, you can damage, you know, the forklift, the product, and yourself. So you always want to be careful. Uh, but like I said, this forklift is a little heavier than a normal one. And we should be good. All right, right here should be fine. I just want to make sure that it's you know covered by this pallet or pallet covered by the <laughs> the strap. I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. Let's double check. Make sure that it can be there we go yeah that should be fine so now we'll just even up the other side with these pallets we'll strap her down and Harvesting, uh, we could do a, uh, a contract like us basically doing what we're doing right now. We could do a supply run for another uh, business or farm in the area. Uh, yeah, let me, I mean, let me know. We actually we, I definitely need to come back and pick that dump truck up. Uh, so we'll have to, one of, you know, 
one of these days, in one of these videos, we're going to have to come back and get that, uh, that truck with the, the forklift. Or the forklift, the tow truck. <laughs> Sorry, guys, brain fart. But, all right, let me see. I don't want to hit that. Right. I know it's kind of a tight fit right here where this, this little kind of an alleyway to the side of the building wasn't exactly a great spot to put myself in, but we're fine. We'll, we'll do. We'll make do. All right. That should be good. There we go. Nice. Be beautiful. All right, set that bad boy down. Back out of there. There we go. Oh, yep. Oh, I just hit the bike. Uh oh. Oh, I want to strap this down. That way I don't hit it. No, I don't have to. There we go. All right, that's strapped down. Now I know it looks like it's at the end. Uh, I mean, the way the game physics works, um, that pallet isn't going anywhere. It's strapped down. So I mean, in real life, that wouldn't be a very good spot to strap it down. Uh, you probably want to even it up right there in the middle of that pallet. But then again, unlike the game, you're able to move your uh, most of the time. Well, I think most of the trailers. You're, I didn't drive too many uh, flatbed uh, trailers, but most of the time, I, I'm pretty sure they're adjustable and movable, so you can adjust where the straps are at and use as, uh, quite a few, because this one, this particular trailer, obviously, as you can see, they're every few feet, but in real life, it could be, I, I, I've seen trailers with it, like, every foot, and pallets with several straps on them, which is, essentially, that's what you want to be able to secure the load, you know, a lot safer, especially with something as heavy as seed. You know, a pallet of seed, you know, is easily, you know, a couple thousand pounds, you know, or you know, a ton, you know. And uh, I've hauled pallets, oops. <laughs> I don't want to break the trash again. There we go. There we go. Um, but it's, I mean, I've held pallets, you know, I've gotten picked up loads of, like, meat, where the, a pallet of meat is over a couple thousand pounds. Like, it, it, it could, you wouldn't think so, but it's, Pretty heavy. And, uh, all right, that should be good. Uh, we might need to move it to the. We might need to move it over just a little bit. Maybe not. Let's check it. We'll see. Huh? What do you guys think? Should that be good? No. I think we're gonna just a teeny, teeny, wee bit. There we go. That should be better. It's a little more evened up. Like I said, the game, way the game physics work, as long as that strap is over it, it's down and it's not going to move anywhere. But like I said, in real life, you definitely probably want to throw a couple straps on that at least. And uh, make sure it's evened up on, on both sides. All right. Uh, let's strap this down. Nice. All right. There we go. Okay. One more pallet, guys. One more pallet. And we're almost, we're almost Densky. See, that didn't take long, right? Okay. Make sure we're good and get her up and on this trailer. All right. Nice. Let's get it over there. All right, so. There we go. Let's back up just a little bit. Now I, you know, now you know, I should have had the you know, little light on here the whole time, but oh well. <laughs> oh, that looked even. Let's make sure we're even. That way we can get strapped up nice, nice and tight. That way nothing goes flying off anywhere. We want to secure the load. Mm, okay, we should be good. Alrighty then. 
what do you think guys nice right muy perfecto all right we'll put the forklift back here after we secure this oh no no don't wanna no 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 <laughs> there we go uh okay there we go strap that down Put the forklift back and we can head on out of here, guys. Oh boy. Alright. There we go. Parker, why we found her? And we'll be on our way. He's in it. Yeah, what do you guys think? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Put that away, sir. There we go. Oh, I think I want, I think I elevated myself just a tad bit here. All right. Nice, right? That wasn't so bad, guys. And we can make our way back to the farm and take our seed back home. Pretty nice. You know what I just realized? I could have sworn that I had the the strap on the second looks like the second just look at the strap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what we're not going far. In real life that wouldn't happen, but I it's not gonna be We'll move here anyway. But I should have got out and strapped it up right now. <laughs> oh, guys, that's what I did. Oh, oops, speed bump. All right, go over. Please don't fall off. Um, I don't think it's going to Even in real life, it would take quite a bit for those pallets to go flying off because they weigh so much. But then again, you would get in so much trouble for not securing the load. That's a major fine. And, um, I mean, you can possibly get your license suspended or something like that because the amount of damage that it can do to someone's vehicle and, or people, I mean, it's just a major hazard. Yeah, see? Alright, well, don't make fun of me, guys. And the pallet did move. See? It did move. That's why you always secure your load. Don't be a dummy like me. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I didn't drive too many uh, flatbeds when I was driving. I did mostly drive in. Which is like that black trailer right there we call a reefer unit. It has nothing to do with marijuana. Um, a reefer unit is what we call a refrigerated uh, drive van unit. So basically, you can put uh, perishable and non perishable uh, food products in them. Uh, that being uh, things that'll go bad that have to stay cold, like milk, cheese. You know, dairy products of that kind, and uh, non-perishable foods like canned food. Um, you know, you know, another, you know, certain, you know, items that you use that are non-perishable that don't basically don't go bad. Items that go bad and items that don't go bad. So that's mostly what I did when I drove. But yeah, guys, thanks for joining. Appreciate you guys.